Everyone knows that a video is easier to watch when the speaker is confident and can speak clearly. The question is really, how do you get to that point of speaking clearly and confidently when talking in front of a camera is scarier than schniz? There's two types of speaking that my company requires my clients to do on camera. One is the interview style and two is the content style. And I'm going to go into both of these. You can relax now because today I'm gonna to share a few tips with you on how to talk clearly and confidently in front of a camera. For the interview style of video, really all that is happening is the camera operator or the director of the video is just gonna be asking you a few questions and recording your answers as you naturally present them. This is by far the easiest way to speak on camera because really all you're doing is having a conversation. In fact, in most cases, the director will even tell you to just look directly at the interviewer and not even directly at the camera. So a lot of the times people forget that they're even on camera. Things I recommend for you here are just put the question back into the answer. I'm sure you know what that means. And slow down. I mean, there's no rush. I mean, as people get nervous, they begin to talk faster and then that's not really good looking on camera. The cameras that Ben's Creative use can actually record for several hours without having to change a single battery or memory card. So the answer is yes, you can do it over. If you mess up, it's really easy to fix. Just back up what you were saying to the most convenient starting point. And now for the beast of them all, the content video. Now this video requires a little bit more thought and a little bit more independence on what you're saying in front of the camera. A content type video is essentially the user in front of the camera explaining something for maybe two to three minutes. What my company does is we typically have a script made and then we have a subject who's speaking in front of the camera deliver the script. We'll record somebody for like 15 minutes and then cut it down to about a three minute video. So we're really just taking the best shots of what's going on. And that's how we make videos look cool from just a normal shot of somebody talking in a room. Nobody expects you to remember a three minute long script. Nobody expects you to do that. So it's not really about memorizing. What I recommend people do is just focus on one section at a time. Your video editor will be able to cut things together to make them feel a little bit more natural after it's done. Just get good two to three sentence chunks knocked out one after the next. I also recommend that before you start recording your video, you write out some bullet points to what you're going to say. And this helps you kind of have direction and structure to what you're saying. So there's a clear ending point and you're not just rambling on about things. A little trick that I've seen that's pretty interesting is some people will type out their bullet points and then print it out and tape that print out to the bottom of the camera lens. That way you can have your notes at the most accessible place. Your eyes just have to drift just below the camera lens to take a read so you can get back up and continue speaking. In some cases, you can't even tell that you're reading off of a sheet of paper. When I make my videos, I do something similar to that. And I just kind of tape my iPad to my camera and read my notes from there. Now, before everybody starts recording, before the camera crew gets there, before all the hustle and bustle starts, I recommend that you rehearse talking by yourself. Yes, like alone at your apartment or in your car even, but really practice the tone of voice that you're trying to use because a lot of people kind of need to come up with that tone of voice that they need as everyone's there and as the camera crew's there, as the director's there. So once you've rehearsed it a time or two, it makes it a lot less nerve wracking to start speaking in front of a camera. And when that director says go, you can just start speaking clearly, naturally, just like you rehearsed it. Typically, people speak directly into the camera for these types of videos. The content type videos are extremely difficult at first. They're nerve wracking and sometimes your lack of confidence can even show on camera. But the best way, the best way to get over that is practice. Once you spend more and more time speaking in front of a camera, it becomes less and less difficult. I have even recommended that some of my clients start a vlog so they can get used to talking in front of the camera. And lastly, focus on pronunciation, or as I like to say, focus on your consonants. 
and I don't want to sound like some lame English teacher, but try and limit your use of ums and uhs. Thank you for listening today. I hope I was able to help you out. Please be sure to like us if you're on Facebook or if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button right now. Thank you very much for doing that, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.